Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to talk to you about backpacks and the actual backpack that I've just started to use. So before I show you that, this is um, this is the Osprey. This is the Osprey Exos 48 that I've been using since 2019 uh, after doing or after looking at a lot of sort of people's videos and seeing them use this backpack on their sort of trips like the West Highland Way which I went and did in 2019 for the first time and I got this bag. It's been brilliant. Um, it's that traditional sort of design where it's got obviously a sort of a, a, what's called a brain on the top like the, the, the lid. Um, so this is the standard design of a backpack and it's always, it's always kind of been like that. Uh, there should be a review on my channel somewhere of this backpack. Uh, but I'm not talking about this one today because I've got a new one. So this is a completely different type of bag. It's got it's basically got a roll top opening, so it doesn't have that kind of brain that you that like the lid that you close. It's got a it's got a roll top that you roll down. It's basically like it's like a giant sack. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you this bag in a little bit of detail. Uh, how it works. It's made by Nature Hike, so it's um, it, it's classed as like the budget end of this sort of type of bag. So there's more premium brands such as Atom Packs. Um, there's more ultralight versions by Z. I think Z Packs do a similar bag, which is you're talking several hundred pounds sterling. Uh, this was say 80. This was under 80 pounds from AliExpress. And again, I've done some research and this has had some very very good reviews so i've used it a little bit in the lake district and on a wild camp on Helvellyn. uh video to that if you want to check that one out um so i had a really good time with it it's very very comfortable the back system um in terms of my my own sort of opinion i found this back system more comfortable than the osprey so uh so i was really impressed with that um but i love the 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 roll top the fact this is like a giant sack you can distribute all your stuff into the bag. You can maximise every little um, uh, sort of nook and cranny of the backpack, so to speak. So, uh, really, really, this is the way forward, certainly for me. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll go into a bit of detail with it. Uh, talk about some of the features, the specifications uh, of this Nature Hype bag, and perhaps it's for you, perhaps it's not. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll have a look in a bit of detail. Okay, so all I have in there, right at the bottom there at the moment, is my sleeping bag. Now I haven't stuffed it down properly, but I just wanted to give you an idea of, of, of this kind of sack that it is. Like this big sort of roll top, and that you can get so much in there. Um, I put my sleeping bag in sort of a bin liner. Um, and that's what I would do normally to, you know, just to keep it nice and dry. Uh, so I'm just sort of uh, I'm a bit out of breath because I'm kind of like bending down trying to film this but uh, and this is what I love so then we'll we'll roll it down like that and then then it literally just clips to these uh, where's the other one there um, so it just literally Flip it in there, and that's where you can just cinch it down. Um, you can just sort of cinch the the pack down, uh, and 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 really compress the size of it down. Obviously, it's just got a sleeping bag in there at the moment, but hopefully, that kind of gives you a general idea of um, of how much room you can get into this versus having a backpack that's kind of got a lid on the top. So I mentioned about this. Um, so I'm down here now. Um, I am here, it's not just my arms. Uh, I mentioned about this massive stretchy pocket. This is absolutely brilliant. I've managed to get, as I say, uh, a whole tent in the back um, of here in terms of my MSR Access 1. Um, I have, uh, on a recent trip, I did. I was able to get my, um, my tent in the side pocket and I'll, I'll try to show a picture of that. Um, but there's so much room here for anything you want. As I say, you can get a a fairly sort of uh, not a massive tent, uh, you know, one or a two man 
inner and fly sheet definitely. Um, so something like an MSR, Hubba Hubba or Axis One. Uh, I could definitely probably get the Hilleberg Solo Black Label inner and outer in here as well. Uh, or perhaps not, perhaps you don't want to put your tent in there. Uh, obviously it's just for anything else and it stretches out. So you can just, you can really get a lot of stuff that potentially you will put in this bag. Um, but you can actually get that into there, freeing up even more space in the actual pack itself. As I say, I've still, only, I've really, I've not, I'm not filling this bag up to kind of, um, you know, show its full capacity. It does take up to 14 kilograms, but, um, but it's just a great thing. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. And then we've got the side pockets. So like I say, I'll, um, I'll show you um, an image of my MSR, my tent in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can fit the Solo in there as well. Uh, but the, these are huge as well. You can get obviously water bottles in there or anything else. So there's two on each side. Um, also, I'll, I'll talk about the material as well uh, before this video ends uh, because it is slightly more water resistant. Obviously, it's not waterproof. It does come with a waterproof cover in the bottom here. Um, there's a waterproof cover in there. I've not used it because I've got my own. Uh, I'm not sure how good that one is, but um, I'm sure it's pretty good. And, and there's a, a little uh, hole there so the water can drip out if you've got the if if your rain cover is used and, and it's wet. Um, another thing I like is the hip belt. So the hip belt here, as I say, that's the disadvantage of that that Osprey Exos 48 2019 one I've got doesn't have this. Doesn't they took the uh, the pockets away? Um, so I've got my water filter in there. Uh, this is really yeah, this is really really comfortable. Really really comfortable. Um, sorry, I'm not showing you that. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so as I say, on the top here, on the top here, you could get you could get some sort of sleeping pad or something like that on the top. There's there's various different cords and straps um, to put something on the top here, and uh, yeah, there's there, there, there's a lot of room. Um, you, this is a, a a really good bag for if you know if you've got a lot of stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend filling it to 14 kilograms. I took it. On a recent trip to the Lake District, and I had too much weight in there, it was still really comfortable. Um, so the back system, just to show you that this back system, these straps are, yeah, these are really comfortable. For, I mean, for a budget, you know, what's classed as a budget bag for about seventy-nine pounds, eighty quid. Um, you know, the, these, I felt this back system was more comfortable than 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 the Osprey. Certainly, the Osprey Rook sixty-five that I've recently sold. Uh, this is a much more comfortable back system. You know than some of the premium carriers out there such as Osprey. Uh, I can't mention or talk about anyone else because I've, I've only ever used Osprey backpacks but uh, yeah so that, that this is really comfortable it's got this kind of lower this thick lower lumbar section uh, this is really nice uh, really really comfortable um, and yeah uh, it's been a great backpack the only thing I'd say to them is to get another this is great the water bottle holders actually on the straps that's the only thing I'd say to Nature Hike in terms of upgrading this backpack. Put another one and a bigger, stretchier one so you can fit a bigger water bottle in there. I can't fit the, is it the 800, 750 mil smart water bottles in there? It needs to be a smaller one. Um, but if you, the great thing is you put your water bottles on the front, it takes the weight of the water off the pack itself. So you don't, so again, it makes it feel, it makes it lighter. Um, but I hope this, this video, as I say, I'll wrap the video up, I just wanted to give you kind of a show and tell and I'll talk a bit more now about the um, sort of the specifications of, of the bag. Alright, so I've just had a look uh, at the backpack in terms of um, some of the sort of the features and a quick sort of show and tell of it. So I'll talk to you a little bit about the um, sort of the, the features and specifications, what Nature Hike say. So this is what Nature Hike describe the bag. So they say it's an agronomic design, I've said that right, and comfortable trekking backpack. The agronomically designed back pad and shoulders, shoulder cushion reduce the bite into the shoulder. That's why I said it's very, very comfortable uh, with its exquisite thickness. So yeah, I definitely noticed that. Very, very comfortable. The back pad has a mesh cushion structure with very very good breathability so it does not get stuffy even if you use it for a long time and you can wear it comfortably. Nature Hike say the load capacity is 15 kilograms again I'm reading this off of their Amazon product page a tough backpack that can withstand up to 15 kilograms 
The fabric is made of high quality 420D nylon, which is not only durable and long lasting, but also has the function of preventing tears and scratches and also has water performance to water performance to prevent the entry of light rain note it has a water repellent property and is not completely waterproof it's about 79 pounds on amazon uh, just had a quick look i think you can get it from alex well you can get it from aliexpress as well because i got it from aliexpress um, so see how you go with it and then invest in maybe getting a more premium one uh, which is what I will probably do because you know trying to save weight is very important. I know uh, I know brands such as Atom Packs and other companies they have this premium pro they have a premium version of these backpacks. This one weighs I think about 1.2 kilograms. That's what it says on the website. So it's light, but it's not not ultra light because some of them go below one kilogram, don't they? Um, and you know th there isn't really anywhere you know to put. As I say, um, hiking poles on this backpack, you, potentially that's why the Osprey was really good because it had something called Stow on the go. So I might do a mod myself to put the hiking poles onto it. I have collapsible hiking poles. So um, that was the only thing that I noticed. But I'm going to use this going forward into the winter. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a really good bag. As I say, you can get a lot into it. This this concept of having this kind of sack that you just roll down the top, you can get a lot more into it than I feel than, than a back that has a, as it has a top onto it, a lid or a brain, whatever it's called. Um, so I'm going to see how it goes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions about the Nature Hike bag, it's called the well, it's called the Nature Hike Rock 60, 60 liter. I'm not sure if that's uh, if it is a 60 liter. There is some debate about that. I've seen on sort of forums and, and comments and things about this bag. So I'm not quite sure it is a 60 litre bag, but uh, but it's huge. You'll get a lot into it. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, give me a, a comment below. And yeah, if you like the, the video, give it a thumbs up. That always uh, always helps. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to subscribe, um, I'll be doing some camps going forward using a lot of kit. I'll be reviewing some more of my, my kit that I've got. I'm going to potentially put a video out now once a week. So um so thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.